Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us learn about angles today. When two rays meet at a point, an angle is formed. What is a ray? A ray is a part of a line which has a starting point but goes on endlessly and it has no ending point. These are some of the lines which we have already learned. I will add the link in the description box. Now let us see about the angles. Now coming to angles. The point where the rays meet is called the vertex. And the rays are the arms of the angle. This is the symbol used to represent an angle. Here the angle is angle A O B. Angles are measured using protractor. The angle between two arms joining at a point is measured in degrees. In this example, the first angle shows 40 degree and the next one shows 60 degrees. A degree is the unit for measuring angles. It is symbolically written as This is the protractor. A protractor has two sets of measurements written on it. They are called scales. There is inner scale and outer scale both having measurements from 0 to 180 degrees in different directions. There is a baseline and the midpoint of the baseline is called the center. As the arms turns, the angle also changes. These are the some of the types of angles. As I told you, a protractor has two scales. How to measure these angles? If the angle is right side aligned, measure using the inner scale. And if the angle is left side aligned, measure using the outer scale. These angles can be measured using outer scales. Now let us learn about the types of angles. An angle that is exactly 90 degrees is called right angle. Here angle A, B, C equal to 90 degrees. You would have noticed that the vertex of the angle is written at the center. Keep this in mind while writing angles. Now let us see some real life examples of right angles. Next is straight angle. An angle that is exactly 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Some examples of straight angles. An angle which is less than a right angle is called an acute angle. That is an angle which is less than 90 degrees. That means it can be from 1 to 89 Few examples of acute angles. An angle which is more than a right angle but less than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle. In other words, an angle which is more than 90 degrees and lesser than 180 degrees are called obtuse angle. These are few examples. An angle which is more than 180 degrees and lesser than 360 degrees are called 
a reflex angle. Example of a reflex angle. Next is the complete angle. An angle that measures 360 degree is called a complete angle. This will help you to understand more clearly. The arm CE rotates and reaches D and it makes a complete angle. The angle DCE is 360 degrees. Some of the examples of complete angles are given here. Can you identify these angles and let me know? Thank you for watching.